Hey, I'm Melton, and this is a mini-series where I'll be briefly discussing powerful duos that can have really great synergy. These synergies can bring us high damage, cool strategies, and some pretty insane support capabilities. Nice pairing is Shinsho and Layla. Now, this is coming on the third time that Shinsho has been in this series, so his versatility is truly something to be praised. The synergy that I'll be talking about today is concerning an interesting combination of reactions, and the setup is something that is required for that to go through. And that setup is perfectly maintained by these two. To briefly recap what both Shinsho and Leila do, Shinsho is a sub DPS that provides excellent off field Hydra application and damage, while Leila is a support unit that provides a strong, consistent shield that uniquely applies additional cryo. Shinsho's rain swords apply Hydra with his coordinated sword attacks when the active character does a normal attack, and Leila's shield increases the amount of cryo application when more elemental skills are used. Now, when combined together, given that the active character is normal attacking frequently enough, Jingcho and Layla can have consistent upkeep of the Frozen reaction, allowing for the main DPS of the team to do their part properly. This can go in different ways. A freeze team, where the main DPS is Cryo, can actually be a comfortable freeze DPS. This can only be kept up with Aiga and Ryothsli, and potentially other Cryo melee units that won't shatter enemies with the help of Chongyun's infusion. Speaking of shatter, this is another way for these strategies to be used. Physical geared units like Eula, Razor, Fremenet, and even Fischl can use this frozen state to deal additional physical damage to enemies when they shatter them with their claymores. And with the exception of Fischl, of course. I will say that Eula would have definitely a harder time with these two teammates since she's an energy black hole, but Razor and Fremenet can get their burst pretty comfortably with them around. This is because Razor makes up the other half to superconduct with Layla, and Fremenet has a passive that allows him to deal more damage when he triggers a shatter reaction. And if you want to revive a long dead physical official build, you can also make use of the strategy with her fast normal attacks. Additionally, this combo can be used for melt as well. Hu Tao can capitalize on some melts in addition to vaporize, and since Hu Tao mainly does reverse vaporizes with Xingqiu, the damage multiplier is only 1.5. But when forward melting with Layla, she can take advantage of the 2x multiplier. Yomiya can also use this niche mechanic as well, allowing for better protection with Layla since Yomiya can experience a lot of interruption. And for hybrid teams, there's always the Hyper Fridge team, which combines Hyper Boom and Freeze together, and both Layla and Xingqiu offer much needed defense, especially if you don't have Zhongli or any other strong shielders in your team. Layla's best set is also the Tenacity of the Melolith, which increases her shield strength, but can also help increasing everyone's attack by 20%, as long as her elemental skill hits opponents, which she can very comfortably do, since her Night Stars can shoot out of her shield as long as enough elemental skills are activated. And if Layla's shield can somehow break, then... Shinsho's Rain Swords can help protect the active character as well. This sort of strategy with the half vaporize and half melt mixed bag of reactions is also very reminiscent of the half vaporize and half electrocharge mix of reactions that was discovered a long time ago, dubbed Overvape. And this sort of strategy is pretty useful in a good amount of teams. So, yeah, Leila and Shinsho have some pretty good synergy with keeping up Frozen, and there are actually more people than you would think who could benefit from it. Also, I'm sure that there will be more units in the future who would greatly appreciate this duo too. I'm currently working on a special two-part episode of Artifact Antagony, so I hope to have the first half of that video out by the end of this week. I'm just really grateful that all of you have been pretty patient uh, with me releasing new videos in a very hectic and fast-paced world where videos sort of need to be released extremely frequently. And with that, you already know a button to press if you want to see more on a regular basis. And if you have something to say, I can only hope that it's nice. Thank you, and bye!